Assalamu alaikum brother and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of almighty Allah so without any delay let's start today's video win your first grand slam title on home soil oh my goodness um I'm a little bit in shock in this moment. Um, you know, that French Open loss was a heartbreak for me. Um, but I realized, you know, mm -hmm. God puts you through tribulations and trials, and this makes this moment even more sweeter than I can imagine. We saw you say a prayer, get on your knees. You have a lot of faith. How important has that been this journey for you? Oh, it's been so important. Um, you know, I don't pray for results. I just ask that, you know, I get the strength to give it my all and whatever happens, happens. I'm so blessed in this life. So I'm just thankful for this moment. Like, I don't have any words for it, to be honest. Mashallah. I know some of you. Is it written in the Quran that every Muslim should pray five times today? a day? If yes, please tell me the ayat number and surah number. Thank you. Regarding is it mentioned in the Quran that you should pray five times a day? The word fight is not mentioned in the Quran five times a day, but there are indications that you have to pray five times. Seven verse in the Quran. Allah says in the Quran that you have to pray five times in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 114. In Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 78. In Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 130, as well as in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 17 and 18. In some verses, in one verse itself, you can come to notice five times. In some, you have to join two and you come to notice five times. Let me give you two examples from the Quran. It is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 114, that establish regular prayers at the two ends of the days and yes. the approaches of night. The two ends of the day means it's two times. Mm. And the approaches of night. The Arabic word used here is Zolafun. It is not singular, it's not dual, it is a plural. In Arabic, there are three types right. of numbers. One is singular, the second is a dual plural, and the third is plural, which is three or more. So here the Arabic word used for approaches is not a dual plural, it is a plural, meaning three. So if you want number, it says the two ends of the night, and the approaches means minimum three of night. Mashallah. So five times is there. The two mm. ends of the day, the uh, Mufassim of the Quran say, are ah, the Zohar prayers and the Asar prayer. And the three approaches of night, the three night Salah that you have is the Maghrib Salah, the Isha Salah and the Fajr Salah. A similar message you get in Surah Taha, chapter Tumana. 20, verse 130, where it says, praise thy Lord before mm. the rising of the sun and before the setting of the sun and in small hours of night and the two sides of the day. So before I think one, before setting two, approach yes. of night three, two sides of the day, five. So five times is mentioned. Word five is not mentioned. Ham two plus one plus two is five. Before I think of the sun, it is the Fajr Salah. Before setting of the sun, mm. it is the Maghrib Salah. Approaches of night, it is the Maghrib Salah. Uh, before the setting of the sun, it is the Asar Salah. Before rising of the sun is the Fajr Salah. Before setting of the sun is the Asar Salah. During small hours of night, it is the Maghrib Salah. And two sides of day, it is the Isha and the Sword Salah. So five mm -hmm. times mentioned. And let me tell you, brother, it's not a must that everything should be mentioned in the Quran. Even if it's mentioned in the Hadith, yes. it's sufficient. I know there are some Muslims who say, no, we only follow Quran. This is totally wrong. Allah clearly mentioned in the Quran. Atiullah wa Atiur Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So everything is not mentioned in the Quran. If you go to the hadith, there are several hadith which talk that you should pray five times. Until number of say hadith. You read mm. Sahih Bukhari, poem number one, hadith number 42, that when a man approaches a prophet and asks him about Islam, the prophet says that you pray five times salah in the day and night. So the man exactly. asks, should I offer anything more? The prophet said no. If you want, you can offer nawafil salah. But the prophet said five times salah in a day and night. Mm. Very sad hadith. It's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, one number two, hadith number 1395. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he says to Maaz, Maaz bin Jabal, may Allah be pleased with him, that when he sent him to Yemen, he tells him that, tell to the yes. people that they have to believe that, la ilaha illa Muhammad that there's no 
God but Allah, Allah. and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. If they have obeyed them, tell them Allah has enjoined on them five times salah in a day and night. With every day and night, every 24 hours, you should offer five times salah. The very simple. Exactly. So everything of the salah is not given in the Quran. But regarding your question, if five times mentioned, I gave you the reply. But some details are mentioned in, of the salah in the Quran, about ruku, about sujood, about qayam, but minor details are not mentioned. So we as Muslims, we have to follow Allah and His Rasul. The Quran and the Sahih Hadith. So Be don't sure. always be adamant that only if it's mentioned in the Quran, I will follow. If it's in the Quran, you have to follow. But there are many things which are not in the Quran, yet you have to follow. For example, Quran says, give zakat. You have to give zakat. How much to give zakat? It's mentioned in the yes. Sahih Hadith. 2.5%. How many zakat salah you offer in the Fajr, in the Zohar, in the Maghrib, in the Asr, in the Maghrib, in the Isha? It's not there in the Quran. It is yes. in the Hadith. So we as Muslims should follow a deen based on the Quran and the authentic hadith of Abilah exactly. Prophet Brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you have liked the answers of Dr. Zakir Naik because his answer was according to Quran and Hadith. So in the first video, we have watched a video of American tennis player who recently win his title and that was her first title because she is a Muslim. So after winning the title, she goes down in the sajda and she thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The audience was short and at the end of the speech, the receptionist asked her why she goes into such stuff after winning so what she said i hope you have watched in the video so what do you think about her let us know by giving your comments below and after that we watched the video of dr zakir Naik in which a question was asked that where in quran it is written that muslim should offer prayers five times in a day if it is written in quran then let us know the exact words so we can confirm it. In reply, Dr. Zakir Knight said, there is not mention about five time prayers in Quran directly. But there are many times mentioned in Quran to obey Allah and do his prayer as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran and as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us about nimaz. So if you like today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. See you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.